What, do you want to hear the full story? Why not? Okay. Um, during the World War II, mm-hmm. my father escaped from our German prison and escaped to Greece. Got together with a Russian woman, had my father. And my father and my mom met in Greece. I was conceived at, on a ferry on the, towards Newcastle. So, um, oh yeah, on my mom's side, I'm actually kind of a Norwegian gypsy as well. So, um, half Norwegian, half Norwegian gypsy, half Greek, and half Russian. Tell us about your childhood in Greece. Like, what it was like, if you can remember. This one time we had to live in tents in the middle of the forest for four days, acting a role we had. And what was your role? I was a lumberjack. This was like the 1200th century and we made food that kind of way and we had the priests coming and conflicts happening. And how old were you? That time I was 17. I was a infantry soldier mm-hmm. on the Norwegian Russian border, and we had this big hallway where we slept. And all between all the rooms, it was this fucking long hallway, like 50 meters, but you could open the door so you had 30 meters. This one night we were so fucking bored. We poured soap all over one of those hallways and we ran the other hallway with, so we just had enough speed and we were just like standing there surfing 50 meters right into the wall because you couldn't stop. This, there was this one guy, he jumped down on his knees and on his arms like that. There was this oven on the wall. He hit, hit the oven, he had to sew, sew some stitches on his head. Because he was going so fast. <laughs> yes, in Norway we have the AG-3, which is an inhumane based weapon in so basically all of the world. The weapon was made in 1960s. My, my weapon was actually from 1968. And if you have 13 people in a row, you could kill everyone with one bullet. And we had singles or fully automatic, but we called it singles or family. And this other time I got a call from a hotel and we had this like direct alarm, so it didn't go through the central Mm -hmm. at night. Call the alarm. Okay, I'm on my way. Got another alarm from them. Okay, fuck, something's going on. Another alarm, because that's when they're fucking like pushing like that, like fucking someone's robbing them. Like, come on, come on, this is fucking scary. We ran in. This is really fucking hot blonde sitting there, but she was, oh man, I hate her because of this. She was sitting there. Uh, yeah, um, there's someone sleeping outside on the back of the hotel. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Got another alarm next weekend from the same hotel. And I knew that chick was working there because I'd already been there. And I'm like, fuck, she does this again. I'm never coming there for an alarm again. I arrived, there's this woman, stand, girl standing in, and then I was alone. This girl standing in with, um, with the receptionist crying, this other girl standing next to her, I'm like, what's going on? And, and I come in with the mag light, these huge mag lights, I can kill anyone with a fucking bash. Mm-hmm. Come in and like, yeah, what's going on? I think I'm cool, all that shit, and I did, I was actually quite scared. <coughs> Coming in, yeah, what's going on? Uh, there's this guy up on third floor, breaking stuff and pushing people around and stuff like that, he's going mental, you have to calm him down. Okay, get the elevator key, go up third floor and see this huge guy. I'm talking, he's like a head taller. Not, not fat, not muscles, something in between. And I see his back and I just hear him. And someone's pointing towards me. He turns around. What the fuck are you doing here? Coming towards me, his face was fucking red and he was so drunk. I'm like... Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> he comes towards me. Why are you here? I said, calm down. I'm gonna kill you. Something like that. And I was fucking like this. Ah! 
I'm like, he tries to punch me, because, but because he was drunk, I could obviously see he was trying to. He's like, tried to punch me, took my mic like, bam, smacked his hand. He fell down. Oh, you fucking bastard. Oh. And I'm just like, call the police. <laughs> fucking hell. And, like, oh. and I'm like, I told you not to come closer. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna, don't come closer. And I'm like, the police came. I told them, dude, I had to defend myself and hit his hand. And they're like, yeah, so. <laughs> I think I broke his arm. Yeah, that's not your fault. <laughs> One, two, three, four. My baby don't mess around because she loves